Okay guys, so I wanted to show you all some seeds that I did pick up from the Dollar Tree that I'm gonna be planting. And I've already planted some, you can see over there. So they're starting to grow. And I have more seeds that I wanna go ahead and sow. So I did pick up some cucumbers, I have tomatoes, sage, chives, cilantro, basil, parsley, some um, garden uh, green beans. And I already have some of those growing. See that large green leaf there? And those back there in the backdrop, those are already planted. And I have spinach here and some carrots. And eventually I'll be transplanting all of these that I have over here into my raised garden beds. I wanted to go ahead and get my veggies growing. And these are the, the green beans. You can see here how the, the beans are actually split. And you can see how they came up from it. Yeah. So, and here these are breaking ground now. And in this bucket, I have some onions that was in my pantry and as you can see they've started sprouting so I'm just gonna go ahead and plant them I have some onions out in my garden that I planted last year or maybe even the year before that actually sprouted and they don't create new bulbs but they'll you can eat the shoots so it's nice to grow them because if you like green onions then um, it's great for your salad or cooking in with your food or use it as a garnish and so I'm gonna go ahead and plant these and what will happen is the uh, it will eventually put out flowers and from there it will have seeds and you can collect the seeds and actually plant the seeds to grow more onions but as you saw over there I already have lots of onions growing so those will actually grow bulbs but since these are already going I'm just gonna put them in, the, in some dirt also it's no point in throwing them away when they can be used this one hasn't started sprouting yet, but it probably won't be long. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plant it as well. Here's a couple of the tomatoes that I planted. I had some, um, a few tomatoes left. We've been eating from them for, uh, I don't know, several days, maybe a week or so now. And so there were a couple and I saw someone else do a video on growing tomatoes from tomatoes. So I did keep a couple of them so I could plant them out. I planted some of them whole and some I cut in half. So we'll see how they grow. And then also I do have some kale here that's, that I'm gonna be planting as well. So guys, I was searching around for container gardening ideas and there are so many options out there, but I came across this one using storage totes. And because I had so many of them in my garage just sitting, I thought I would use these and it would be no cost. So let me show you how I do it. So what I've done here is just drilled holes along the sides of the bins so that if they're sitting down or if they're sitting on top of something, um, if it's sitting directly on the ground, the holes wouldn't be clogged up or however. So I just put them on the sides. And also I had these bricks in our garage from when our house was built. Those are just extra landscaping bricks that we'll be using to put the totes on. And my husband went to Walmart and got um, some raised garden bed dirt and some topsoil for me so that we can plant all of those seedlings. So let's go ahead and show you how it's set up. And as you can see, I have all of the totes lined up along the fence line. And my husband did come along with the um, uh, weed eater and cut the grass a little bit lower in this area so we could stack all the totes up there. And I have Addison's old picnic table that he used as a little guy, and that's gonna be used as part of my planter bench. So that is the setup so far. So here we have all the totes filled with dirt and our seedlings planted. So in this one, we have some of the kale and Swiss chard in that tote. This one has some bell pepper seeds as well as the green beans. This one also has green beans here. And in the next tote here, we have tomato plants. And here we have our cucumbers. And then this one, we have some lettuce. Here we have some carrots. And this one, we have some beets and turnips. 
and in this one we have okra and sweet peas and now on the table here we have all of our herbs and onions so I got all of these little teal color totes from the Dollar Tree I just drilled holes in the bottom of them just like I did with the others the other totes and so they'll be drainage and I think these are going to be absolutely perfect for my herb garden so that is my raised flower garden set up for now um this might be a temporary look but for now this is what we're working with and i'm super excited to start growing some food okay guys so it's been a couple of weeks since i put together those crates as a raised garden bed and i was reached out to by this company called yahi tech to feature some of the items that they have on their website. They are Amazon store that features home furniture for your living room, your dining room, your bedroom, your kitchen, um, all areas of your home and outside of your home. So they also have items for outdoor living and um, your patio space. So with that being said, I decided to select these wooden raised garden beds that they had to offer and this is going to be absolutely perfect in my outdoor space with the project that I have going on now. So my husband has taken all of the items out of the box and you can see how they're in pieces so we will have to assemble it and in the picture to the corner there you can see that's how it's supposed to look once it's all assembled. So my husband's now just taking out all of the hardware items so that we can review that, make sure everything's there, and also um, review the instructions to see how to put this together. And guys, I have to say, just looking at all the pieces and all the screws and everything, it seems a bit intimidating, but we will see. So let's go ahead and get started putting it together. Okay guys, so I've laid out all of the pieces out of the box so we can see what's there, make sure we have everything that we need, and um, we're ready now to start. So I'm gonna put this together myself, guys, because my husband had to go run some errands and he was gonna do it when he got back, but I thought, you know, let me just see how this, you know, if I could do this and how this might work out. So I'm going to be assembling this uh, by myself. And I have to say, guys, this is probably the first time that I have built something from just wood. And so I'm super excited to do this. So after reviewing the instructions, which there's not a lot of um, like verbiage to tell you how to do things, it's mostly pictures, but it's really pretty self-explanatory once you understand. So basically what you have to do is you're putting the piece together upside down first. And I'm just showing you guys here how I'm screwing it in with a hand screw. Um, and then I have a drill that I will come back in it like electric drill and tighten everything up But I wanted to do it by hand first just to make sure that I was doing it right so that if I needed to Redo something or undo it then you know It would be easy to just screw them out since I'm not putting them in really tight from the start but if you are a more confident carpenter <laughs> then uh, you can start straight with your drill first but for me, this worked out perfectly fine. It was really easy to use the hand screwdriver to put everything together. So as you guys can see, this is coming together nicely. These are the crossbars for the bottom of the garden bed. So and the legs are the taller pieces that's on there. So once the legs on this other end are on, then everything will stand up. So these are the bottom slats that will slide into the bottom of the uh, planter box. So as you can see, it just slides in like that. Super easy. And each plank has a drain hole. So there's lots of drainage for your plants. So you wanna be mindful for the last board sliding in that it has little notches on the end there because that is to accommodate for the legs. So now that we have that bottom portion completed, now we have to add these legs on the other end and the box will be all together. So that's the side piece I'm just kind of showing you guys and then the other legs. So then it'll be complete. So we just gotta attach everything together and we will be done with this planter box. 
Well, let me say we're not done just quite yet because I am now going to go back with the um, electric drill and screw everything down tight. I want to make sure everything is tight and secure. Um, again, this is just an extra step. If you wanted to do this in the first place, then you certainly could and you wouldn't have to go back. But I just wanted to make sure everything was done properly. And now I'm securing it all in place. And these are the final bolts that need to be added on the sides here. They kind of lock the legs in place. So you place that little piece um, inside the planter box and then the long screw goes through the side and they have fixed there. So you have the little hole there. So I have to line that up so that the long screw would go through the side there into that hole and I'm just screwing it together with my hand and then I'll go back with the drill and tighten it in place as well. And now for the final step, we'll add the little toppers on each end. And as you can see, it comes with a little bolt there and two screws. And we'll just screw those into place. And they're like the little post toppers. So it's um, just like a decorative piece to kind of finish everything off. And I think they're a cute little added touch. Okay guys, so here's a final look at the raised flower beds. And I'm so super excited to have these. I am so proud of myself for putting them together all by myself. It did take me about an hour and a half to do both of them. But as you saw, I did take my time because I wanted to do it right. And I am so happy with the final result. So now guys, it's a couple of days later because um, after the first day, it was starting to get dark and we got rain. So I wanted to show you guys that I'm going to be planting these watermelon seedlings into our raised garden bed. I did grow these from seeds. I did purchase, um, these are the little sweet babies. So they're smaller watermelons and I'm going to plant them in this raised bed here. And I have the second one there that I'm thinking about adding some cabbage to it. I have cabbage growing in these two pots here. Um, but we'll see about that because I don't know if I'm going to have enough dirt to do both. And I definitely have to get those watermelon out of that. And the cabbage has some little seedlings on the sides of that. So those will have to come out eventually. But for now, we're going to go ahead and plant the watermelons into the raised garden bed. Also guys, if you're interested in these planter beds from Yahi Tech, be sure to check my description box down below because I will have the link there as well as a discount code. And I'm just showing you guys how there's plenty of drainage in these raised garden beds and so they're gonna be absolutely perfect um, for my garden. So yes, be sure to check the description box for more details. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here for today. I will come back in a future video and share with you guys how the watermelon look once they're all planted in the planter boxes as well as the cabbage. So if you're new here, welcome. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. For my faithful family members, you guys know I love you so much and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.